Hello everybody, and welcome back to Nancy Drew, Curse of Blackmore Manor. What are we going to do today, Nancy? We are going to explore downstairs, so we're going to meet Mrs. Drake, check out the automaton, and I think we're going to go to the library. Ethel, do I have to learn this? Yes, I'm afraid you do. If I do well, can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. Sounds like Jane is busy with her lessons. Oh, forget it. Stay in Italy as long as you want, then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. Ooh, ouch. Linda's getting in a fight with her husband. Not good. Not good. Whoa! Check it out! Blackmore Manor has a ceiling! I know that probably sounds stupid, but we could not see the ceiling in the computer version of the game, so I just find that amazing. Like, there's an actual ceiling to Blackmore Manor. An actual ceiling, everybody! Yes, all throughout this uh, version of the game, you will see a couple of things which weren't visible in the computer version of the game. Mostly ceilings and floors. So here's the automaton. It's right over here. It's actually a game, so let's play this game. This should be lots of fun. It stopped working. Nancy, you broke the automaton? Ah, oh. Nancy, this is why we can't have nice things. You always break them. Oh well. Let's go to the conservatory and meet with Mrs. Drake. The entrance to the conservatory is right over here. Mrs. Drake is on the far side of the conservatory, so you have to go as far as possible in order to meet her. And here she is now! Everyone say hello to Mrs. Drake! All settled in? Good. Now, I'm happy that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you teenagers like your televisions and loud stereos, so I must insist that you act respectfully and civilly while you stay with us. Since my nephew, Hugh, is away on business, I am in charge of this household. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's noise. Hugh's daughter Jane is staying with us and would very much like to meet you. But please try not to distract her. She has her studies and mustn't be disturbed during her lessons. Hmm, so what should we talk about? Uh, let's talk about Linda. Do you know what's wrong with Linda? Oh, Linda simply needs some time to adjust to her new living situation. England is not the United States. We do things differently. Or should I say, properly, here. The doctor believes it's just a case of nerves. I like to play the card machine in the Great Hall, but it's broken. It's not broken. I removed its crank, as it was proving to be too much of a distraction for Jane. 
I suppose I could see where it's gone to. But in the meantime, be a dear and do something for me, would you? Sure. Like what? Do you see that hodgepodge of plants over there? They're my prized seedlings. I had them perfectly arranged in that box, so I could easily move them about to catch the light. Unfortunately, Jane took all of them out when I wasn't looking. And now for the life of me, I cannot get them back in the box, so that they all fit. Why don't you give it a try while I see about that crank? If we both succeed, we shall both be happy, if you catch my meaning. Okay, so we are going to get a crank from the cranky old woman. And this is a puzzle. You need to figure out where to put things. So, for example, we have the green plant. I think I'll put it here in this corner. And I think uh, with this red plant, if I put it here, the area left of it is going to be kind of weird. So let's put it here so it fits nicely with the other plant, which is the same size. Let's see, green plant. I could put it here, it would go nicely. Actually, I think I'll put it here, and the next piece will go right next to it. Looks like this is a good fit. I think this is a good fit. This is a good fit. And perfect! That's how you solve the puzzle. There. And what's this? Ah, oh, yeah, Mrs. Drake is taking pills, which makes her a little bit drowsy. Whoa! I like that. That that particular uh, plant we saw there. I don't think that particular angle is visible in the computer version of the game. I could be wrong. Check out this plant. Wow, crazy. A carnivorous plant. Cool. Whoa, it eats flies. That's probably not a good idea. What's not a good idea? Playing with the plant that could eat you? Come on, Nancy, it's not gonna eat you. Ah! I stand corrected. Oh, oh, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Why did she dive head first into the plant? A carnivorous plant, cool. Very dangerous plant. Okay, so what am I doing next? I got distracted because Nancy was being killed. The library! The library! Ah, of course! We are going to the library and we are going to meet Nigel Mukherjee, who is one of the characters in this game. So far, the only character we've met is Mrs. Drake and Lulu. We met Lulu. The library is just opposite of the conservatory. Just go straight and through those double doors over there on the left. isn't here. I was hoping to talk to Nigel. Well, we can look at his computer, but I guess we can't really talk to him. Okay, he's got an email. Somebody wants him to work on his novel. Or maybe not a novel, more like a tell-all about the Penvelins. For example, chapter number one apparently is about Corbin's secret room and the Mercury column. 
chapter one. Um, don't know that. Chapter on Randolph. I cannot find it! I cannot find it! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Oh, Nigel. Poor Nigel. What's chapter three? No, that was chapter three. We saw that. Hmm. You know what? That's not very interesting. So I'm just going to check something out. Specifically, I'm going to check out the computer here. This is basically the reason why you came to the library. You came to the library so you could look at the computer. I wonder who Alan is. The computer is locked by Alan's password. So we'll have to add that to our list of things to do. We need to figure out the password to Alan's computer. And what am I doing now? I'm going upstairs to meet Linda. Everybody, we're going to meet Linda. I have to say, these walking sequences are quite well done. The sound effect of Nancy walking uh, perfectly matches with the camera. Whoa! This place has a ceiling, too? Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's see if Mrs. Drake is in her room. She's not in the conservatory, we know that, so, um, where is she now? Guess she's not in her room. Hmm. Maybe she's using the facilities. Or she left Blackmore Manor because she wanted to get a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Hmm. Now oh, I'm hungry. Um, uh, this is Linda's room. Linda is right here. She's hiding inside her bed with the curtains drawn. Linda? Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, welcome to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. Hmm, I think I'll pick the second option. So, how are you feeling? How am I feeling? Well, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like something really strange is happening. I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry, but that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. That's everything you need to know. Now if- Mommy, can I come in? No, you're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over, I want to meet Nancy. I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. And I don't think I'll ever get used to that mummy business. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation to my mother, but trust me, there's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. Interesting. Uh, Linda said I don't think I'll ever get used to that mummy business, and that wasn't written in the subtitles at the bottom of the screen. Strange. I can't go home empty-handed. It might jeopardize my ace detective status. Linda? Okay, I'll let you rest. But I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Hmm. Well, Linda certainly is a strange one. Strange things are happening at Blackmore Manor. 
Ah, there's a fireplace. And here's the door. I believe we are going to get a phone call from Linda's mother as soon as we step outside. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Mrs. Petrov. How is everything? Have you seen Linda yet? Literally speaking, no, but I did talk to her. Not that she told me anything. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale, cooped up like that? Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. Well, that was rude. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. Hang up without saying goodbye. Wow. Not very nice, Mrs. Petrov. In any case, that is the end of the chapter. That is the end of chapter number three.